my little babies. My little babies. <laughs> I love you guys. Next clip I'm going to show you guys is a clip that works for me. Um, anything that I show you in this video, just so you know, is what works best for me, myself, and my children. So if you decide to take any of these items or feed your children any of the things that I show you in my videos, please know that you're doing this at your own risk. Thank you and thank you for watching. Hello my beanies. So I am going to try my best to make this video. I've tried to record this video many many a times. The first time obviously my recording and stuff wasn't like working properly. Um, and I wasn't uploading things properly so all my videos before are gone. But um, I'm also going to try to record this as fast as I possibly can because my phone is dying. Um, if I don't finish this Right now, I will charge it up and try to finish it in a little bit while my littles are sleeping. Um, I do, my KK is fussy right now because he's teething, so if I pause, I'm sorry, um, but I will finish this. But basically, I'm trying to record a video and show you guys some things that I use for my littles with their teething and their fussiness, um, things that work for me. Um, hopefully, I can help some other mothers out there. So let's get this quickly started. So the first thing that I use on my littles is this stuff right here. It is Mommy Bliss um, Teething Gel. It's a daytime one and a nighttime one. Um, and I, what I love about this product, and some people don't like Mommy Bliss because they were recently um, discontinuing their gripe water stuff, but they, it was because of that formula. They had to change it, and they have recently changed it. But this stuff right here for me, for my littles, it works really, really well. And I love that there's natural ingredients in this. Uh, for the daytime one, there's organic chamomile, there's vanilla extract, there's ginger and fennel in it, and there's thyme. Um, and then in a nighttime one, there's some of the same ingredients, but there's ginger, thyme, chamomile, lemon balm, and passion flower. Um, I just love this stuff. It really, really works. I love the nighttime one especially because it helps them relax, calm down, um, and get themselves some sleep when they need it. The next product, I swear by this product. I love it, love it, love it. I have one in my diaper bag. I have one upstairs in my bedroom. I have an extra one. Um, I swear by this stuff. I cannot go without it. I use this every single night with my littles. And it's Oilogic um, Roll-On Sleep Stuff. And I put this on a dab here on them, a dab here. I put it on their chest. I put it on their toes. Um, right out, especially right after a bath. They get nice and comfortable. I don't give them a bottle right away because um, I let them get good and hungry. Because after a bath, they're crying it out. They're nice and clean. You put a fresh diaper on, some clothes. Top them off with a bottle. Put this stuff here on and they are knocked right out and in this stuff there's a bunch of different essential oils um that just help them sleep i don't have the box but um the next video when i do find the box um because i took it out because i have to fit it in my <laughs> big old duffel bag and i'll do a segment on that later of what i put in my duffel bag for my twins because i don't use a uh backpack oh he told you he's fussy um but i swear by this stuff there's also another thing that I use on my littles in their bath by the same company, and it is this stuff right here. It's a two-in-one body and shampoo wash with essential oils in it. Um, I You can wash them with it. I put it in their water. Um, I did have one by the same product. It's the same one, but it was just the oils. Um, I sprinkle a little, I squirt a little bit in their water, and I... Um, after I wash them, I just let them soak in it for a little while. Um, my sons now love bath times. I call them little spa babies because they just love it. Um, but this stuff right here is really, really, really good, especially for nighttime. Um, this brand does make other essential oils, like stuff for like scars, things for healing, stuff like that. So I'm telling you, I swear by this stuff. I cannot be without this stuff. So if you use it, thank me later and pass on 
pass this stuff on to other mothers because I'm telling you right now, when you're trying to get your kids calm, you will try anything. And what I love about this is it's all natural ingredients. Um, so that's one of the things. But these three are the main things that I use almost every single day, every bath time. Um, and then some, and these other things are just backup. I've used it before, before I found these items and they did just as good, but this just did even better. This, this, and this, you'll be good. Um, excuse me. this stuff right here, I've tried using this before. Um, but I mean, it helped a little bit, but I was afraid that it was upsetting their stomach. Um, but I wasn't sure at the time because um, another segment, my kids were going through acid reflux issues. I was afraid that this was uh, hurting their stomach. But um, like I said, I don't know for sure because they were going through really bad acid reflux issue. This stuff has somewhat na some natural ingredients in it. I wasn't a big, big fan of like some of the ingredients in it. But um, this is a good back up if those things don't work um so i just keep this here just in case you just never know when you run out of something you can't get to the store you just never know so this stuff is pretty okay um it's made by dr zorbeck a pediatrician and a father um it says it's chemical free but you guys can be the judge of that um so that was that the other thing that i did use before i found this other stuff is this made by the same here, let's see if you can see made by the same person um, I was putting this on their chest after um, their shower or I mean their bath um, so if you see that right there um, it smells really really good it's definitely soothing. It smells like a um, lighter version of Vicks, like real, real lighter version, like nothing too strong. Because I don't like to put things on my kids that smell way too strong, where it's like it's doing the opposite of relaxing you. Um, but this stuff was good. Um, the last thing, um, the last two things that I do, um, this is when everything else isn't working, is obviously some baby Tylenol. My kids love the grape flavor. I don't like taking or giving my kids too much Tylenol. I don't like taking too much Tylenol myself unless I really, really have to. But um, obviously, I'm not going to sit there and let my kids be in pain, especially if I tried every natural thing under the sun first. Um, I'm just not that cruel of a person. Like, yes, I like to do the most natural as much as possible, but let's all be realistic. We got to do and stay sane and get through and do things that it's going to help our littles and help us be at peace knowing that our kids are not in pain. Um, so I give them some of this stuff, um, and just a little bit, and it calms and relaxes them. Let that stuff kick in while the all you know these products and stuff kick in. And that has been pretty much helping my son right now, both my kids. KK is really going through it, which I'm trying to hurry and finish this segment because he just wants to cuddle. But the last thing on the list that I tried, this isn't what I'm going to show you. This isn't the bottle that I use, um, but it's, it pretty much is what I use on my kids, just not this bottle. But actual vanilla extract. If you can get the um, organic purist extract, it's really, really expensive, but the whatever is organic and whatever has the most natural ingredients in it use it but i use vanilla extract on my kids gums it actually helps numb their gums longer than you would baby aura gel gotta quickly hurry this up because he is just not having it at all but um i use vanilla extract that's the last thing i use i carry one of those small bottles around with me when i go out um i have some upstairs um, the vanilla extract, I think what it is, um, this you can use any vanilla extract. Obviously, I like to try to use the natural stuff, but oh my god, it's expensive. But I put a little bit on their gums. You just put a dab. You don't need a whole lot. Put some on your finger, rub it in, and you actually just really massage it in like you do any other teething stuff. But it has helped them stay, um, it has helped their gums stay numb longer than all the other stuff. Um, so sometimes I actually put, even though I put some of that stuff on them, I'll put a little extra vanilla ex extract on their gums. But that's pretty much what I do for my littles when they're teething. 
Um, obviously the best method too is cuddles, snuggles, talking to them, rubbing them, soothing them, um, cause it's a tough, tough process and I'm doing it times too. Like as soon as I picked my son KK up, Liam started crying, but, um, he falls asleep a lot faster on, or on his own. He just pop a bobo in his mouth. Um, KK is my little Klingon, so... Sometimes I have to give him a little extra love, um, but I obviously try to equalize the love. But um, that is pretty much it. If there's any other things that you have questions about that maybe I have gone through that I can help you guys with, please comment below. Um, I'm going to go and cuddle with this munchkin. I was supposed to make some um, baby food for them, but my littles come first. Um, so with that being said, I will see you later on in the video. Love you. Mwah. So I'm going to be honest because these are the keeping it real moments. Like they don't call it real mom life for nothing. But um, these are the moments that it's hard. Like right now my husband's busy right now. And like it's hard because they're teething. And, and, and the, the teething phase and then the growth spurt phases are like really, really hard. Um... I have a baby in my arms right now. I'm swapping back and forth with them. I'm like one screaming and crying, but then you get the other one soothed. And then here he's falling asleep, but woken up because his brother's crying. And it's just really hard. And then especially when you add on to the fact that like you've had a busy day, you are like sleep deprived. Like it, it's not easy. <sighs> Like, in a little bit, I have to let him cry because I'm trying to keep one kind of soothed and let him fall asleep. So it's like a tit for tat kind of a moment. And I just wanted to vlog this because, again, moms just show the beautiful side of motherhood. And they don't show you that, like, shit gets real. You're tired. Sometimes you're crying along right with them because you're, you know, you're tired. They're tired. And you're both trying to get through this phase together. And... It's just not easy, so. Like, this is a moment I just wanted to document because it's it's real. And I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. And I'm not going to pretend like things are always great and wonderful and cookies and candy. <laughs> so, but at the end of the day, just remember, you guys, if you are having a rough time, take a moment to just walk away. Your kids are not going to perish away from crying. Um, but... Keep your wits about you and walk away for a few minutes just to breathe. Just remember, breathe and this phase will pass. All right. Hi, my beanie babies. I did not get a chance to end um, the clip for that day. Um, so things just got a little bit crazy and I just never had a chance to finish it. But um, I do hope that any of the products that you do use for your littles that I showed you in this video help you out if you do choose to use them. We're all going through this teething phase with our littles together. And we just got to take it one day at a time. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, Beanie Babies. <laughs>